Hi, here uh, we are looking at a pull request which I sent and this pull request is passing all the tests so we could merge it however uh, it is a simple change and for this simple change it took uh, three different commits and, and in between one commit made the test fail. So what we should do is we should uh, squash all, this, all these uh, three commits into a single commit. So let's see how uh, to do it. So I'm in the branch simplify secrets YAML. So let me go to that uh, branch. And uh, what I do is I always by default do git rebase dash i head 10. And why do I do 10? I, I do 10 because I like I want to see not only just these three commits, but seven commits before that. So overall, I want to see 10 commits. However, if the number of commits is more than 10 and I'm squashing more than 10 commits then I will do something like 20 uh, but in general I put default 10 so let's do that so we can see that our commits the commits that I'm interested in it starts from moved secret key base to default and that is the last three commits and before that uh, the seven commits they are just for reference purpose um, so so the way these uh, commits are handled by uh, git is that they are handled from top to bottom so the first commit which we are uh, really interested in is this one uh, so we will leave it as pick and the next one we put s s is for squash and we'll do the same for the next one and after doing a squash for all the commits that i want to be squashed all i need to do is is uh, uh, save the file and in vim i will do w q bang and it will start rebasing and during the rebasing process it will open your favorite editor and it will present you uh, with a screen which has the commit message from all three of the commits and that's what the first line here says this is a combination of three commits so what so it is our opportunity to create the new commit message for the uh, squashed commit so here i will do moved commit stuff so that's the main one and i will do it so i'm happy with this message i will save it and my commit is done uh, so if you do if you want you can look at the commit using git log and this is how the commit message will look and you can see that the commit before that is by someone else or it's a different commit so it all looks good and now we need to do a git push however if you do git push it will fail that is because we have rewritten the history so anytime after squashing we need to do git push dash f so before you do force git push make sure that things are okay and once you're sure then only do git push dash f so now we have done forced update now let's go back to so here we are seeing some other commit messages and i think that's because we have not yet rebased to master so now what we can do is git rebase master and after rebasing we can do git push dash f again and now we see a single commit uh, which is ready to be merged so before we, we do we take up the squashing operation it's better to do the rebasing from master uh, before doing the squashing and in in this case i forgot to do that that's why i had that complication uh, but in general it is always suggested to do first rebase against master so that your uh, changes are 100% on top of master and then squash the commits. Thank you.